the year is 2003, just coming off the back of the success of GTA Vice City and GTA 3. No one would have foreseen what game would have come next for Rockstar Games. So in May 2003, at an E3 convention, people from around the world were shocked at the trailer for a brand new game called Manhunt, as it depicted plenty of gore and violence for its time. However, people were fascinated at the potential of the game. Over the years, Manhunt has had its fair share of criticism, especially within the first few years of release even going to the extent to where the media would blame this game for real murders that would happen. However, I will now begin to talk about the story within this game. The game starts off with a cutscene of a journalist who talks about exposing a film director who goes by the name of Lionel Starkweather. However, she has an issue, which is in fact a huge issue as she has practically no evidence. However, more of that later. The story of Manhunt follows James Earl Cash, a death row inmate who is unexpectedly rescued from his execution by a mysterious man named Lionel Starkweather. Starkweather offers Cash a chance at freedom, only if he agrees to participate in a series of snuff films that he is producing. For people that don't know what snuff films are, these are films that show real gore and horrible acts that are illegal. In the game, these films involve Cash being forced to kill various other criminals and gang members in a variety of brutal ways. As Cash progresses through Castle City, he discovers that Starkweather is not the only one pulling the strings. He's also being manipulated by a corrupt police officer named Gary Schaefer who is using the snuff films to eliminate his enemies and consolidate his power. Cash eventually discovers Schaefer's true motives and turns on him leading to a final confrontation which Cash must face off against Schaefer and his heavily armed guards. As you fight through the areas within Castle City, you get to a point where Cash's motives is not to survive and escape, but to seek revenge. This is due to a part where Cash's family is kidnapped and is executed right in front of his eyes. This flicks a switch in his mind to where he will do anything in his power to murder everyone in this disgusting operation. After being tricked into an ambush by what seems to be a man dressed in a bunny costume, Cash is caught by the war dogs. I'll go into an analysis of these people later they let Cash free as they want to hunt him down. This will prove to be a very stupid idea as Cash brutally murders each one of them one by one. We are then greeted with the news report from the very first cutscene within the game as she tells Cash everything that she's been doing over the past months to try and take down Starkweather. And the final piece of a puzzle was Cash himself, as he could be physical proof of the whole operation. The journalist then drives to her apartment with Cash, however, there are people there trying to stop them. So then for this short period in the game, instead of it being a stealth game, it is a shooter, as you help get the journalist to collect her things and leave Carter City. However, Cash stays as he wants to seek out revenge. Towards the back end of this sick adventure, Cash is brought towards the mansion that Starkweather resides in by the Cerberus. The Cerberus are the people that work for Starkweather, who throughout the game move Cash from one area to the next. However, it won't be as easy as Cash originally thought, as there is a beast that lurks inside who feeds on the dead. Pixie, also known to some as Pigface, a deranged hulking killer who wears a pig mask and carries a chainsaw. It's one of the boss characters who appears in the latter levels of the game and is considered one of the most memorable and terrifying enemies in all of gaming. Pigsy is a former member of the War Dogs gang who was driven insane by the violence and brutality of his work. 
he now resides in an abandoned meatpacking plant where he hunts down and kills anyone who enters. He's known for his loud snorting and grunting and his tendency to hide in the shadows and surprise the player with sudden attacks. Fighting pigs he requires the player to use stealth and strategy to avoid his attacks to use the environment to their advantage to gain the upper hand. The battle with Pixie is considered one of the most challenging and intense moments in the game and is a highlight for many players. Another reason to why Pixie is such a memorable character due to his look is a massive abomination of a man who chases you naked with the skinned face of a pig upon his own face. Eventually, Pixie will subsequently fall to his own demise as he falls through the floor of the building. However, he initially holds on, but Cash use, uses Pixie's own tools against him and chainsaws Pixie's arms, which then leads to the death of the evil, sadistic cannibal. In the last fight in the game, Starkweather sends the last of his Cerberus guards to try and take Cash out. However, Cash easily breezes past these guards and is eventually left one on one with the man who put Cash through all of this. The man who murdered his family for his own sick entertainment, Starkweather. Cash runs up on Starkweather and chainsaws his stomach and destroys Starkweather in a hot fury, subsequently ending the sick nightmare for Cash. Finally, the final scene within the game is of the journalist who does a live broadcast on the Casa City news as she exposes it, this snuff film ring. Despite this, Cash, the main antagonist, was never seen again. Now that I've gone through the main part of the story, I just want to talk quickly on some of the gangs you have to battle within the game. There are three main gangs featured in the game Manhunt, each with their own distinct style and characteristics. Number one, the Hoods. This gang is the first group the player encounters in the game. They are a street gang that wear hoodies and bandanas to conceal their identities. They are known for their ruthless behaviour and use of melee weapons like baseball bats and knives. Number 2. The Smileys This gang is a group of psychopaths who wear masks that resemble smiley faces. They are known for their use of firearms and explosives and their sadistic personalities. They often taunt the player with disturbing messages over the game's intercom system. Number 3. The War Dogs This gang is a group of ex-military mercenaries who are hired by the game's main villain, Lionel Starkweather. They wear body armor and use advanced weapons like assault rifles and grenade launchers. They are highly trained and pose a significant challenge for the player. Each gang presents a unique challenge for the player and requires different strategies to overcome. I will also do a quick summary of the gameplay mechanics for its time. It was groundbreaking and one of a kind. Gameplay mechanics in Manhunt are unique and immersive, designed to create a tense and thrilling experience for players. The game is a third person shooter that emphasises stealth and strategy over all out action. Players must navigate through a series of levels, each with their own set of challenges and obstacles while avoiding detection by the hunters. One of the most notable gameplay mechanics in Manhunt is its use of executions. These are brutal finishing moves that Cash can perform on his enemies once he has successfully sneaked up behind them. The executions are divided into three categories, ranging from quick and silent to slow and gory. The more brutal the execution, the more points the player earns, which can be used to unlock new weapons and upgrades. In addition to executions, Cash can also use a variety of weapons to take out his enemies. These range from simple melee weapons like baseball bats and even plastic bags, to firearms like pistols and shotguns. However, ammunition is very scarce in the game. Players must be careful to conserve their resources and use them wisely. And another key gameplay mechanic in Manhunt is the use of sounds and shadows. Cash must move quietly and avoid detection by the hunters, who are constantly on the lookout for him. The game uses a sound meter to indicate how much sound Cash is making. Players must use the shadows to stay hidden and avoid being seen. 
Overall, the gameplay mechanics of Manhunt are designed to create a tense and immersive experience that emphasises strategy and stealth. The game's unique use of executions and sound and shadow mechanics make it a unique and memorable experience for players looking for a dark and gritty adventure. Finally, during the release of this game it had a lot of controversies. However, as time passes people tend to think of this game very fondly and to be honest it has grown a bit of a cult fan base, with people desperately wanting a third instalment of the game. However, with that being said, if you like this new type of video or would like me to continue doing this type of content, make sure to give me some feedback, I could potentially look into doing a similar video in the future for other games or even for Manhunt 2. So, thank you very much for watching.